Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the name of my video, I decided to show you guys today how I make my bed. Definitely right now it's nice and neat. Uh, but this is the way I left it this morning when I went to work. And I came back a little bit early. So I decided why not to show you guys how I struggle every morning when I get up to go to work. Anyways, if you guys are still interested, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so my hair is up. So my hair won't bother me no more. But anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you guys, obviously from the smallest, I'm gonna take everything off, but this is one of the small throw blankets that I do have. Um, these ones are super easy to fold, but I'm just gonna show you guys anyways. But at first when I got my accident, it was very hard for me to fold these little tiny ones because my heart would start racing. Obviously I, I didn't have like no exercise at all. I still don't, but I have more, like upper body movement so I don't get as much like my heart starts pounding or whatever but anyways so this is basically it's like the easiest thing ever obviously for a person who just got newly injured it's very hard like I said because they don't have the upper strength or they actually don't know what to expect um, because for newly injured your heart starts racing so hard that you start thinking like you're about to faint so if you guys ever do feel that stop but i do a lot more movements i get in i get out obviously there's a lot more going on so i'm more used to it but anyways so this is how i i mean i'm not showing you guys how to fold i'm showing you guys how i actually fold the small blankets or anything small like the towels i literally just um fold them here in my wheelchair i don't have to get up there but now the big thing Okay guys, so I'm gonna start taking everything away from the bed so I can show you guys how I, obviously I can't reach those, so I'll do this. This is how I do most of the things, the easy way. But if obviously that doesn't happen, then I obviously try to scoot, scoot over there. But I start taking everything off and let's get on top of the bed i put on the side two pillows i leave the sheet at the bottom and i leave the comforter i don't know if i'm saying that right but you guys get what i mean so i leave that there and then that's how i start pulling things so sometimes i just leave it in the bed and i just start dragging everything around but no guys so that's basically what i do <music> my wheelchair is obviously always next to me so what I do is put the two pillows there so they can hold them sometimes they do work as soon as I throw it but if they don't then my bed okay it worked yay so I found the bottom okay so this is the hard part about um about like making sure that everything does fit. So I'm gonna do my regular that it's from top to bottom. So this is where the struggle begins, guys.
normally when I start twisting around, these wrinkles start happening. So I try not to move as much until I get the comforter in. Because obviously if I start like twisting, um, they start pulling like this. So I was trying to just do it like that. None of the corners are coming off. So that's always a good sign. So after that, I always get the big blanket. <laughs> It is getting hot guys, I promise it's very hot in this room. I have the lights going on and I'm sweating, but it's okay. So, I find the, that's it. This one has like pairs all over it, so I don't even know where is the beginning and where is the end. If I'm not right, I don't know where right is. I believe I'm doing this right. Yeah. Okay, so after this one, I, oh shoot. I start getting away from the corners. Okay, yes. I try to move that forward. I don't like my blanket to be like super on the floor because when I'm rolling like with my wheelchair, it'll get stuck on the corners of this and it'll start becoming like a whole mess and start pulling the blankets. So I like to pull all the blanket all the way to the back. I needed these two pillows because when they're like somewhere far I can't reach them and if I get my wheelchair to throw them like that they won't be like I wanted them to be so what I do now that I'm already here kind of put them together and once I'm done, since everything's already really, really tucked in, nothing would be coming out. So that's okay when I move like this. And then now I'm just gonna transfer back to my wheelchair to show you guys how I do the rest of, just making it sure that it's more clear, and more nice and neat. So now from all the corners, if everything's already tucked in, so what I do is just I pull every single little wrinkle that there is and I just kind of like acomodarla and I put the other one. Anyways guys, so this is the final result. As you guys can see, there was a lot of tossing and turning. It is, I'm super sweating right now because of the vanity lights. Super hot. I didn't put my fan on because... I didn't want you guys to hear the background noise, but this is how basically I do it. If any of you guys that are in wheelchairs or have more experience on how to do your bed with 
no more tossing and turning like I did, please let me know down below and stay put for the next video. Bye.